Hello. It's your Friday uh, rendition, edition, whatever you want to call it, of uh, me doing some GeoGuessr. Uh, I'm doing this super early compared to previous ones, but who cares? We're here to watch me GeoGuess. Um, instead of me randomly picking things, I actually re uh, relied on the uh, GeoGuessr subreddit for a couple of uh, suggested maps. And this one was called a Guessable World that consisted of no like long straight lines, it said. Um, good quality images, all that fun stuff. So uh, instead of relying on me, half-assing it i'm going to use my whole ass and f try to figure out where this is i think i've got an idea um as we do a bit of housekeeping here as always thank you for the watching the feel that we're in this part of the world um very much appreciated I did find this one on the subreddit for, but again, if you guys have any suggestions for maps that you like, or even if you made them yourself, put them in the uh, description below. I'm, maybe I'm wrong about where this is, because I'm not seeing a... Hmm. Like, I'm not seeing whatever... Um, symbols, whatever you want to call it, here. I'm getting a little... This is This will probably help. I mean, this one's pro yeah. This one's probably a bit um, easier. I mean, it's called Guessable World, so there's going to be some uh, easy to figure out things here. But anyway, I'm uh, currently in the process of moving when this comes up, so uh, you'll excuse me if I don't want to say I'm taking it easy, but I'm a little uh, busy at the moment. Hopefully, all the internet stuff has worked. No problems. I'm moved in. Everything is just fine. That is my hope. That is my prayer. Uh, where is Pex? I got Budapest. Now I just need to further centralize myself here. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting it. I'm a bit concerned. Like I'm not seeing seventy-seven, seventy-one, seventy-three. I just saw you. Where'd you go? 573. Never mind. Uh, why is this giving me such a hard time? 73. Okay. 73 takes you to Budapest and Skizgazard. Okay. So we're a little farther. There's Pex. Okay. I'm 60 to Pex. I'm going to hit home just so I can... Uh... Now I've got a good idea as to where we are. A bark and lipitoad. Okay, lick a toad. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Am I missing it? Yes. Well, there's Pax. I'm gonna put us there for now because that's close, and we'll go from there. But man, even if I feel it now, I've got a bit of a headache. Um, don't know. I mean, last night was the first time in a very long time I was not actually able to sleep. Um, I know for, there was a, a, a quite a while where my ability to sleep was uh, very much 57. Here we go. Pex and Skizgird, 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 If I had my Hungarian friends here, they'd be like, oh, that's just how Skizgird, isn't it over here? No, Pex is there. Oh, it's a little farther south. But last night, you know, a little struggle for the sleep, and I think I might be still paying for it a bit right now. We're in uh, Cambodia, I believe. And I'm hoping that I can actually fall asleep tonight. I think I can. I spent most of today packing, and it was all my small stuff, and funny enough, Really takes me like no time at all to pack my stuff because the amount of years I've lived, I really have not accumulated that much, as I've said before. Hopefully, I can get it all moved in one or two trips. Internet schedule tomorrow. I'm 
Everything seems fine. No stress at all. Feeling quite relaxed. Looking forward to... Um, I guess we're not going this way anymore. <laughs> hmm. Looking very much forward to uh, a smooth transition. And by the time you see me again, or hear from me again, it'll uh, be at the new place. Might sound a little weird. Um, it's going to be a very barren apartment. Just because I'm going to slowly be trickling in some uh, furniture and all that fun stuff. I don't think I'm ever going to do a uh, like tour of the new place because that's not really what I want to show off. It's not like I'm being super private or anything. It's just like, who gives a shit? It's just a very blue apartment. Uh, maybe for the price I'm paying for, it's questionable. But honestly, it's also the market I live in. Man, I... I'm not seeing beer lao, Laos. That makes much sense now. I'm going to say we're in Laos. Is Laos, is there actually a Laotian um, geoguessor maps? I don't know if this part of Indochina actually has uh, images or whatever you want to call it. But... I don't know. Let's see. Any other things worth mentioning? This is kind of a bit of a low key. I'm a little, like I said, a little worn down a bit just for the day. Uh, I've never act this, to the best of my ability or remembers. I've never actually had condensed milk, and like, I can only imagine it's just like slightly evaporated <laughs> like my my knowledge of how it's made is uh pretty lacking and i just assume that it's no it's just milk that they slowly evaporate for, for some reason all the non water parts of the milk are left and it's i'm pretty sure that's not it it's probably like a bunch of syrup and other shit added to it but you know i'm Speaking of which, I'm a little bit on a kick of watching How It's Made, just because I think everybody goes through these uh, phases of their life where they're just like, oh shit, there's a How It's Made on uranium. 238, 138 something, whatever they use for making nuclear power plant fuel. I'm like, I have no idea how they make that. I'll watch that. That was really cool. Like seeing all those people work there is like, you're just surrounded by radiation. I mean, reading that book, um, uh, Midnight Chernobyl gives you some good perspective. Now I almost feel like this is Vietnam. No, I was pretty close. Uh, I really do need to see that Chernobyl show. I hear it's amazing. Um, a lot of people are giving it praise. But now this uh, the how it made and i watched that and then the next thing of course youtube suggested a bunch of other videos I'm like oh shit i have no idea how they make skateboard wheels let me watch that it's you know it's the same thing as a wikipedia hole it's just Qatar singh road is this is a very muddy road very like that almost irony reddish Brown tint makes me think maybe Africa. Airtel doesn't give me anything yet. Um, let's see what this says. Very, I don't know. I, I don't know. And I just next thing I know, it's eleven o'clock, and I'm like, shit. Uh, I should probably go to bed. And. The other thing that's actually been so soaking up a lot of my time too is uh, there's this phone game. I never play phone games. I just I hate phone games. It's you know I've people talk about what is it the uh, Candy Crush class of Clash of Clans. I, it's very I can't say that word for some reason, and I'm just very much not into phone games, but. Recently, I know that way back when I first got my 2DS, there was uh, none of this is telling me anything. I anything helpful. There was a uh, 
Sudo- Sudoku? Sudoku. I think it was that Brain Age, and one of the things in it was doing Sudoku, and I usually did like one or two puzzles a night, and they say it helps with your memory, so I tried doing some of that. Did some Sudoku for a while, and then I came across, what is it, Picross? I think it's actually what it's called. It's basically Sudoku with, with, with pictures, basically. Uh, and of all things, Konami actually put out, I think it's called, let me, let me look. Is it Pixel Puzzle? I mean, yeah, Pixel Puzzle. The thing's free, absolutely free. Um, I don't think you need to log in or register with anything. Maybe with Google Games, but I've never touched anything really phone-related, so I don't know. And just like I don't know where the fuck I am here. I've not seen anything to let me know where we are. I'm hoping that I'll see a flag somewhere, but I'm just seeing Nieri Provincial General Hospital Gender-Based Violence Recovery Center. Sounds uh, depressing a bit. Lots of phone charging. I'm just going to guess a country. I'm going to be wrong and say Kenya. Could be Tanzania, but I really don't know where this is. I've yet to see a flag letting me know where we are. This even could be on the Atlantic coast, but I'm not. Nieri feels like they do P.O. boxes. I know, I know Kenya does P.O. boxes. Could this be Kenya? I wish my enemies live a long life so that they can witness my success. It really brings the uh, message home when it's in that gothic font. But I've been playing the shit out of this pixel puzzle thing, and I very much recommend it. It uh, The ramp up is... I'm just going to talk through this. The ramp up is uh, easy to start. You know, it's... I went into it pretty much thinking I wouldn't like it, hate it, that type of thing. And, uh, oh, shit. I did get the country right. It was... Basically, I guess I felt a little bit more confident with the PO box thing, but okay. Now we're we are in Cambodia. Let's see if I can't see anything written in English. Yep, Cambodian People Party. But if you like puzzle games, and yeah, I've put in quite a bit of time. Uh, it's free. I mean, yeah, it's Konami, but. Fucking game's great. I know that there's probably a bunch of other games like it, but nah, I like this one. This is what I'm playing with. I mean, I'm uh God. I've pro I wonder if it even says. I'm gonna look to see if the library on the phone says how many actual puzzles there are, because I've to give you a percentage as to actually how many um puzzles you've done. And I've done, it feels like an insane amount. And I'm only 60. Hold on, that is loud. Okay, so 51 Bowerman, 80, 64. Yeah, there's like hundreds of little images, man. You, you keep you busy for a while. Enough praise of that. Back to this. Like Angor Wat. I don't know where Angor Wat is. I know that that's that uh, wonder you can build in civilization. Let's put us there for now. Uh, see if I can't find maybe some more signage somewhere. If I can actually move down the road. Like looking at the way the climate looks here, it's not, I don't think it's really telling me. I think there's a street sign back here. No, nope. just more election stuff. Here we go. Here is a billboard my voice is cracking i'm finally hitting puberty folks i have no idea what you say like this feels like we're near water so maybe maybe down here like krong pre i probably wrong i'm probably saying all these things wrong but you know Ooh, here we go maybe this says It's a sewing and overcast stitch sewing handicraft industry. That is a long number. 
A lot of eights. Hmm. Going for a swim. What is this? Oh, this is uh, probably a cool-ass temple to go see. I do not want to see it because the weather looks very unpleasant. Yeah, there's water over there. I think I'm... <coughs> Sorry. Oh, that one came up super fast. I had no, no way of controlling it. Like, I did that half-second pause panic of... If I was going to pause the mic, mute the microphone, but I decided not to. Okay, maybe this isn't water. Rice fields? Anyway, one thing I wanted to touch. I may have briefly mentioned it, Christ, 15 minutes ago, but my memory is this bad. That, um, I did need to comment. I read it today, actually. I'm doing this on Wednesday of, uh, learning the difference between Scandinavia and Nordic countries. And as I said there, it's... Oh, God, I hope I don't sniffle anymore. A combination of, I believe when I was in school, I was taught that the two were interchangeable, and I just left it at that, thinking, oh, no big deal. Uh, whether or not anything in the interim has changed... Uh, like, maybe at some point, yeah, we were fine with it, but then we changed it, and now it's, there is a difference. Is this Canada, or is this France? No, this is probably England. Actually, I can easily tell that by looking at cars. Yep, this is England. At least a British colony. Tweet the library. Hmm. Does it say Camden? Dundon? Oh, New Zealand. Okay. Well, that... That uh, narrows it down quite a bit. Dunedin? Dundon, I'm going to say. Let's look for the library. Let's get ourselves a little... A little bigger. We got the... Garden... Moana Pool, Casino. Okay, it's apparently not worthy enough to be seen this far in, out. So now we're going to assume we're somewhere near the middle. Like, I'm assuming this is center, downtown, Dundon. And it's going to be here. But I'm not seeing it. Dundin City Library. Where is the library? Nope. Nope. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna click here before I forget. But I feel like this should be like very obvious. I mean I'd like to think uh Library would make a uh, interesting point of whatever you want to call it, but I'm not seeing it. As I've said before, I'm very much known for having shitty ability to see things. No, I'm not seeing it anywhere here. God damn. We're not near water. Downtown Dunedin. I think it would be here. Where are we? Hmm. Okay. We've done enough of looking at that. Now I'm going to go do a bit of search and see if I can't, uh, maybe find another landmark to, uh, Search by, but it's not looking that way. I wonder what it's like if you're uh, from New Zealand and you feel like traveling anywhere that's, you know, not um, Australia. Just because you are so very far away from anything. This is like, yeah, I'm going to go on vacation and... I wonder if, like, some places, like, yeah, you do get two weeks of vacation, you know, if you work at a, at a, at a uh, 
uh, any sort of job. And they're like, okay, you get two weeks of vacation, but since it takes so long to travel anywhere, we're going to give you an extra week just of travel time. Because that's the one of the things that really sucks if you want to travel anywhere for a vacation is, man, I probably missed it. No, wait, you got to zoom in a bit to see that. Okay. Nailed it pretty well, but I'm going to finish that rambling thought of... I wonder if they do take that into account with New Zealand, at least with like, hey, I wonder if the U.S. is going to take me a very long time. And they'll build like an extra couple of days of vacation time just for you so you can travel where you want and just be like, yeah, we know it takes a while to get anywhere. That's why how much we care. But this is how much I care. I'm doing this a different day than I normally do as I throw things on my desk. This is the last video. I will be doing from this location, moving somewhere else, going through that reflexive time of just like looking back at all the good times I had here with the people I lived with for a very long time. Story for another time, if people care. I mean, I don't even know how much of these things people notice and or care about that aren't, you know, geography related, but. That's the way my stream of conscious, consciousness stuff works, is where I'll just say whatever comes into my head. I try to keep it coherent, but that's the best I do. Anyway, I've kept your time long enough. We'll be back on Monday. May sound a little different. Maybe the internet will be hooked up. I'm all hoping. But uh, we'll see you real soon. Goodbye.